BeatsbySaid.com. Hey, yo, said, let's let them know. Turn, 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 turn up, turn up. BeatsbySaid.com. B-E-A-T-S-B-Y-C-E-D.com. All right. Shots fired. What up, though? K100 Radio, we're back. Second round of our direct line interviews today. Welcome, everybody. 347-934-0966. That is the number down to the show. 347-934-0966. That is the number down to the show. Hit our phone lines up, man. We're chopping it up with some really great people, man. We've got a lot in store, you feel me? We've got a couple more interviews. We've got an author and an artist coming up. We've got a female coming up, R&B next, you feel me? But right now, we're still chopping up with the fellas, all right? We got the homeboy G. LeBeau is in the building, man. G. LeBeau, what's going on, man? Round of applause for the homie. Yeah. What up, folks? What's going on with you? Oh, man, cool it, man. It's my birthday today, so I'm just, just chilling with the fam, man. This shit is epic, then. You did? Yeah. See how we do? Yeah. 100, you bastards. You bastards. Right on time. God damn it. What's going on, man? It's perfect. All right, happy, happy. Oh, man, I'm cool. I'm just trying to get these singles going, man, you know? Well, that's what's up, man. Well, happy G-Day to you, man. You feel me? That's what's up, man. We all blessed to see another day, man. The, the world is so crazy out here. You just never really know, man. So each one of them should be a celebration. Every day should be a celebration. But you know you make it to another one. You feel me? Yeah, that's true, you know? bro. That's yeah. so true, bro. For Absolutely. real. It's crazy out here. For real, man. So uh, I'm going to give you the floor real quick. Tell these people who you are, bro. Run that. Yeah, hey, my name is G. LeBoa. I'm um R&B singer, trying to bring the real R&B back. There's real R&B out there, but we just got to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And, um, man, just trying to get this single come by. We got the video, the new single up coming up. And uh, we got um, the website, glabeau.com. We got Facebook. It's the same thing, glabeau. That's G-L-A-B-E-A-U-D. And the same for Instagram. But we just grinding, man, trying to get this music right, you know? Absolutely, man. Well, shout out to you, dog. Welcome to the broadcast. Like I said again, now I want to make sure that we're perfectly clear. There's a lot of different ways to get on K100 Radio, right? And we got to make sure that we give a shout out to the sponsor of this particular um, this particular uh, interview. There's a lot of ways that you can get on K100 Radio. You can hit us up. You can go to the website. Different ways. Sometimes we can see you out on the grind. You can be at an event that that we're being uh, 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 official media for. A lot of different ways. But well, one way is we work with a lot of different, uh, uh, a lot of other entities locally and abroad that are really great for independent artists. One of them that we work with is called uh, Making It Magazine. So shout out to Making It Magazine who's sponsoring this particular, um, uh, this particular interview. Now we found, we already knew about G Lebo. G Lebo was already on our radar. We've got a song that we're getting ready to play by him that's featuring one of our very own uh, family over here at K100 Radio, which is Jay Harris. We're going to run that. We're also going to show you his video, which is clean, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Um, but one the, a, a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to promotions and stuff like that, we have different people that we work with. And so G Lebo was also a member of the Make It A Magazine website. We was over there, and, and we have a thing that we do with them. Like, you know, every every once a month, we just go through the page. They got a thing called The Wire where people post updates and post new music and stuff. And as another platform that breaks music, we go over there and we handpick people from over there. We saw he had just posted an update about his new video that we're getting ready to run for uh, Come By. And I, I hadn't seen the video. I, I knew who G. LeBeau was, but I had never seen his video. But he posted it over there. I clicked it. I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah, we definitely got to show the homie some love. So that's how this all came about. So your network... Your network will it will definitely determine your net worth in a lot of ways, and it's all about networking. It's all about working with people who work right, with people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we're here right now. So I want to make sure one more time we give a shout out to the sponsor of this particular um, interview again, which is Making It Magazine. Go to Making yeah, It Magazine. Yeah, we got to give a shout out to Making It Mag, man. Yeah. I love it, man. The events we went to, man, is amazing, man. We went to them, and uh, I enjoy every one we go to, and we learn something every time too, bro. Absolutely. Wonderful platform. Absolutely, man. So shout out to those guys over there. You did Kelby and everybody, and Kim and everybody. Big up to everybody over there all right so let's go ahead and jump into this let's chop it up with g lebeau because we got to make sure we got we got two full songs by him and we've got the video that you guys are going to check out if you guys are on instagram live and you want to see this video please jump over to our facebook live uh feed it's on k1 radio page just type in k1 radio or type in blism you'll see both of them over there chopping it up right now you feel me so again let's let, let, let's 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 double back real quick about something that you just said g lebeau and I could piggyback off something that I said earlier in the other interview. Uh, you said real R and B. What does that mean to you? Like, what, like, like, what, what's, what's not R and B? What's out right now that's got you feeling a way about the representation of R and B? You know what I'm saying? Why do you say that you back with the real R and B and not, 
because it sounds like when people say, well, back with real hip hop versus mumble rap. Uh, get, elaborate on that a little bit. When you said real R and B. When I say real R and B, I don't mean to offend nobody. Don't get me wrong, because I love everything that's out. You know what I'm saying? But it's different genres to me. Nowadays, when it come to R and B, you got when I say real R and B, I say traditional R and B. I mean, like from the '90s. I come up like I come up from before that, really. But I'm saying the real R and B to me is something that's that's you know what I'm saying where you feel it, you just get a good feeling from it. You know what I'm saying the vibe of real music. You hear some some bass lines, some strings, some chords, not just synths. You know, in 808s, you know that's cool because I love all music, but Real R&B, I came up from the old school with the OJ's Levert. I sung backgrounds on our Joe Levert album like in 95, me and my brother Jim LeBeau and the fellas. And we did a song called Answering Service. We sung on three songs on that album. So we come up, and I also been in the group like for about six, seven, almost seven years now, the Rude Boys. Okay. There's song written all over your face. So I've been in the game for some years, you know what I'm saying? And, um... So, like I said, I love all music, but um, there's room for it all. But to me, it's the R&B that's out now is basically, to me, R&B hip-hop. It's uh, almost rap-driven with a melody to it. You know what I'm saying? But certain R&B, like to me, the real R&B is a song that's got a melody like you can hear one of the Isley Brothers joints or... Uh, where that melody take you somewhere, man, instantly. When you hear it, it's like you, you, it's a memory of something that's put in you, like you grew up on good music. You know how it is when you hear a good song, you be like, dang, man, that took me right back to that moment in my right. life where I remember when I was a child in the backseat of mom car, whatever, just a memory. Music is like, to me, the only thing besides smell that can instantly bring you and take you back to a moment in life that could be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? But real R&B... It's out there, but you got to kind of do research to get it. So my first single, Come By, is the reason why I did that, because I wanted people to know that where I really came from on the real R&B side. But the up single is relevant. It's current. It's like what's happening right now. So when they hear that one, they probably be like, is that the same person? But we kind of <laughs> like wanted it to be that way, because I kind of like want people to know I love it all. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm, I'm true to the real R&B, because that's my roots. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean, bro. All right, definitely. Yeah. Um, I learned I got a little bit of a history lesson myself on you when you said, uh, you know, with the uh, with the Rude Boys and all that. I didn't even know all that. You know what I'm saying? So good little uh, history lesson for me uh, right here uh, on the artist right here, G. LeBeau. Um, so I learned something myself, too. So shout out to you, man. Uh, putting, all, putting in all this work and this grind for all these years. Um, I was talking earlier about how, you know, artists have to. Uh, artists when they're independent and it or uh, even if they were on a major situation and that, and that situation is fizzled and they have to provide for their family and if they have kids or they have a girl a wife whatever house home cars bills you know balancing all that making sure you got income coming in you don't end up living in your mama basement or no crazy shit and being able to create the music you feel me being in the game this long you know what I'm saying? Right, how, how right. have you kept your passion up how have you kept up the passion to just go in here and still record and cut music and uh, you know you know this long you know what I'm saying? Still putting out work. Hey, I'm going to keep it real. It's a job, bro. You got you got to do it for the love and not the money. Because if you're just doing it for the money, you might as well quit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because the game is different now. It ain't the same. You know, and, and I'm going to keep it real. You know, I'm, I'm my birthday today, on, um, you know, today is the 17th of October. Me and Eminem, the same day. Eight Mile, he was working in a warehouse. It's real life. I right. work a, I work a nine to five. I'm gonna keep it real. I gotta take care of my wife, my kids, my my mom, my pops passed. You know what I'm saying? Rest his black, you know, bless his soul. You feel me? He died a few years ago, man. And and, and my pops instilled so much in us. You know what I'm saying? And, and first of all, to keep it real was one of them. You know what I'm saying? To be ra- raised with morals and values. And I, I work, man, to take care of mine. I do my music. You know, every t- chance I can. Me and my wife, we're in the studio recording. We got a studio. We in the, the studio is in the crib. It's in the house. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm I'm at home working. When I get home, I'm doing my music. I'm doing what I love to do on the weekends all day. We doing it. You know, me and my brothers get in when we can. Me and my wife write together. We wrote the single together. It's a family thing, but at the same time, man, I turned 45 today. At first, I was going to hold back my age. I'm like, man, I don't know if I should tell it. But I'm like, 
I got too much of a story behind us. Me and my brothers went through. You know what I'm saying? For me right. to, to lie about my age, they're going to do the research anyway and find out. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm 45, right. so I'm like, I might as well keep it real. That way I can let people know to never stop. You know what I'm saying? That if you love something, just do it. You know, because you love it and God gave me the gift, so I'm going to continue to use it, man. And hopefully it keep. You know, touching souls, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the video came out, bro, I'm going to be real. We we posted the joint one time on my Facebook page, right? Right, right. right. And the joint is almost 28,000 right now, and that's just out of the love from Facebook and, and Instagram and people loving real music. It just go to show you that you can still do it, but you got to keep keep faith, man, and just keep going, you know what I'm saying? Now, and, and it's 28,000 almost, bro, and that's just from people sharing yeah. it. Out of love, and that's true views. Right. No that's dope. promo. Not, right. We didn't pay no promo or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's dope. I so definitely. I'm just saying, man. That's just out of love. That's because I love doing it, bro. And that's why I'm gonna keep doing it, man. Absolutely. And um, we we getting ready to run that video right now. So first of all, you guys are in for a treat because it's a really good song. It's a really good video uh, that we're getting ready to show you guys. Uh, twenty eight thousand views. Nothing. Nothing to turn your nose up at, especially if you didn't run an ad for it. You know what I'm saying? You can run ads, but it, and, it, and that's kind of organic because if you're an artist, people still have to click on it and they have to watch it for a certain amount of time for it to count but we understand all the metrics and and everything how everything works over here with youtube and all that so you know when you're talking to me you say you got twenty eight thousand views on facebook that's good i know people really was tuning in and watching it and rocking with it so hopefully when we present it to the people in a second they rock with it again and they go over there and find it so make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to right, the channel right you know man saying? appreciate yeah. the love too bro. yeah absolutely man but um interesting what you said also about age because I don't know. I don't tell me if you agree, and then we're gonna jump into the video. All right, we got we only halfway through, so we got time. All right. So when you when you, sure. you you said you didn't want to mention your age, and I and I've been there. You feel me? I I, I understand that because you know a lot of pe people who do know me know that I'm 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 an artist myself. I came to the game as an artist and a producer, and I used to kind of be apprehensive about it, especially when I hit you know 35. You know what I'm saying? I was still doing music, and people always turn their nose right. up at artists who are like in their 30s or whatever on some get a real job shit or why are you still doing it you know what i'm saying everybody's got all these you know what i'm saying well nobody tells your ass not to why are you 38 or 42 in the fucking club you know what i'm saying at the strip club nobody asked you that thank you that thank question you. either but we're right. not you know what I'm saying? So i can ask you the same fucking question why are you still going out wasting money in nightclubs but you still do it nobody says anything about that right so i i, I sometimes i tend to counter it but just internally internally how you process it internally you know when you, when you feel like oh I haven't made it. You have to have these things around you to keep you going. And I think you have the perfect setup, bro, for somebody that is 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 an independent artist right now on the grind. You've got you've got your your lady in there creating with you. See, it would be it's really hard when you have the person telling you we need to do we need to, to leave this music alone or make another move. You have the perfect motivator. I gotta say that. Shout out to her if she's listening. You've got the perfect motivator. You feel me? The person that you wake up to next, you know, and every day to go in there and creating with you. Now a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people are in situations where the person that they're with is actually discouraging them from pursuing their music. That's normally what you get. You know what I'm saying? So you've got a really great situation, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, over there. But, you know, internally, how you process it, I really like the answer. You feel me? So I want to make sure that we um take a moment and, 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 and just go ahead and jump into this music. So I want you to introduce the video for Come By. Tell us about the treatment, the song, and the creative process on the song. Man, the uh, creating side was um me it started off we got the track from my my partner his his name is j dub walker mm -hmm. and um he's he's also he was one of the hit men from bad boy man he produced um on uh, he the meet the browns from the um tyler perry all of that anyway long story he got a mean history but the track he was one of the producers on the track and uh lebo music me and my brothers and um our family, you know what I'm saying? Me and my right. wife wrote it. I woke up with the song to tell you a quick story. The song I was, I did the hook to the song one night, and, and I opened the door in the studio just to see what it was gonna do. Uh -huh. And she woke up, man, came out, man, came out the room like four in the morning, like, what is this? Right. Man, this you on? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I just came up with the hook, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, man, that joint is a hit, you know what I'm saying? So the next day we got on the verses, man, put the melody down and wrote the words, and the rest is history, you know what I'm saying? We um, the video treatment, we all came together, man, and um, I wanted an old school in the car, and I think that's a lot of the reason why we getting them views too, because I love cars. <laughs> so we put that. Uh, that was my first car when I was 14, too, man. My pops gave me a. 70 Chevelle SS. Uh -huh. 
Okay. So that 71 was important for me to have that Chevelle in the video. You know what I'm saying? And my partner, Tune, from Cool in the Game, was the one told me, you need to have that car, your first car in the video. And uh, when he told me that, man, I was like, yeah, that's a perfect idea. So we put the treatment together, man. And, um, man, it, it just came together, man, like God did it. You know what I'm saying? Because it right. was like we was... We was panicking for a minute, like, man, we got to make it right. I wanted right. the song and the video to match, you know what I'm saying? The production, the quality of the record, the story, we just wanted all to match, you know, so it, it came out right, man. So, I mean, I, I hope people continue to share it and, and go to YouTube, too, because, you know, they're looking at them views, too, y'all. We need them YouTube views. Everybody's been playing it on the Facebook, which I love, you know what I'm saying? But... You know how the number game is, so. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is it, man. This record come by, man. All right, make sure you do that, and feel free, uh, um, after the fact, if you want to, any you or anybody in the crew, uh, feel free to post a link to the uh, YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube video over in the uh, Facebook Live feed. If anybody's checking this out on Facebook Live, if you do have the link to the video, uh, please post it over in the uh, Facebook Live feed. And anybody that wants to give some continued support, make sure you go over there and uh, check it out. You know what I'm saying? And also subscribe to the YouTube channel. You don't understand how important subscribers, the number of subscribers are for an artist. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't cost you anything, bro. That, that shit is free. It's, right. free to, it's free to like a video. It's free to share a video. It's free to subscribe to a channel. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even got to go every day, bro, but it, it, it matters. And I don't think some people, sometimes people think, oh, uh, I got to support somebody. They looking for some money. And, bro, all support don't even cost you nothing, bro. It don't even cost you that much time. It takes you 0.5 seconds to click a like. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you rock with it and support right. this good music. Don't complain to us about radio. Don't complain to us about where's the good music and all that if you don't support it when it comes across your table. I don't allow that. Shots are fired. All right, let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get it. All right. G LeBeau, name of this joint. It's called Come By. Now, if you guys are over on the uh on the stream, you guys are gonna hear it. But if you're on the Facebook live stream, you guys are gonna are uh, gonna see it. So let's check this joint out, man. This is Come By by G LeBeau. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R and B.
You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. K100, you bastards! That good enough for you? Right. K100 Radio, I am your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. 347-934-0966. That is the number to dial to the show. We were just riding out to that Come By by G LeBeau. Like I told y'all, man, I told y'all that video was clean. I told y'all that song was dope. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's checking us out on Instagram Live and Facebook Live. They're showing you mad love. His people is in the building. It's what we do, man, and it's what he does. This is G LeBeau, man. Excellent work, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Like I said, man, you know, it, it, the vibe, everything match. The cinematography on the video, I love when we get a chance to show the videos on Facebook Live now. The cinematography on the video and everything, the director. Shout out to the who, who shot it. Shout out to the uh, the director. Shout out to the editor, uh, the cameraman. Everything is A1 first class, and I see why the people are supporting. The people support dope shit when they see dope shit, and um, this is definitely worth the support. You feel me? Like I said, this is what caught my eye. You know what I'm saying? This is what caught my eye over on Making the Magazine when you posted this video. I saw that. I was like, yep, that's the one. Oh, uh, man, appreciate it, man. Shout out to Caleb Fields, too, who did the video, man. He cold with it, man. Young cat, man, coming up. He worked on a lot of stuff that's out. He did that uh, bad and bougie edit on the video. He does edits for videos for people and all. But also he shot it, edited it, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all follow him on Instagram, man. Caleb Seals. He cold with it, bro. Oh, and that's my wife in the video, too, bro. When I slipped her in there. Oh, I mean, shit. Listen, bro, I'm going to tell you right now. I be, I be, I feel a kind of way for her. Hey, I feel a kind of way for her. If I done sat in there and wrote that damn song, you feel me? I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, she, hey, I just, you know, hey, she look good, you know? Me like this nigga, excuse my French, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, listen, no, 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 listen. If 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 she if she if she if she looks great on camera and she's talented and she put in that work, it would have been a travesty. I even I would have been like, bro, really? You ain't put wifey in there, you know what I'm saying? Know, like, right here, you know what I'm right saying? Oh, we, <laughs> listen, we understand. Well, we understand. Bro, that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. Yeah, and yeah. um. But yeah, I gotta send shout outs to them the Bull Brothers too, man. My brothers and all that too. I know I don't know they support at all times, you know. Yeah. My mama Linda LeBeau too. Y'all see her on Facebook, watch out now. All right now. Shout out to mm-hmm. Mama them. What up, Mama them? <laughs> all right. All right uh, we got five minutes. We gotta get ready to roll out. We got uh let me see, Nisi J coming up next. All right, so we gotta get ready to uh oh, yeah, yeah, gotta get it get it in, bro. Yeah, but hold on, we got one more. Y'all whoa, 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 whoa. We gonna roll out with the oh, other yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. The oh, other we, song. We can't not do this when Jay Harris is on this thing, y'all. Right, right, right. So uh, we're gonna end it on this one, and we're gonna ride out. We're gonna run this this one last record, and then we'll come up with our next uh interview. All right, and then we'll let G LeBeau come back at the very end, give you all the pertinent information. But real quick, intro this joint for us. Now this one is already we already had this one in rotation over here. We're gonna add that come by. Just know that. You're going to hear Come By on K100 Radio, so just get ready for that. We're going to add that to the rotation. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? It, bro. Uh, but we already had Up featuring the homie Jay Harris on here. Tell us about this record real quick so we can run this, and then we'll let you go. Hey, this joint Up is, is an up tempo uh, joint, and uh, Jay Harris is featuring my boy Jay Harris on it. Two Harris production, and the big boys produced it. And all that, bro. but uh, this joint cold. You got to check it out. Jay said, man, somebody, he said, I got to get get on the mic, man. The only one can pull me out is you. I said, well, guess what? Let's do a joint. Let's do a single. It's on. All right. Let's check this one out. This one is called Up featuring Jay Harris, G LeBeau, K100 Radio. You dig? You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B.
and geekin', we own it. She rollin' that loud and we load it. A hundred and fifties, we run through the city. I swear that these bitches be on me. We turn up all night, vamp like that's right. Running up my check, and I gotta get my sack right. Yeah, right. My gas loud and we drink and drink and we pass out. She swear that she Beyonce. She woke up at this with her ass out. Life's a bank and we cash out. Turning up, no fly zone. Burning up, but my eyes low. We kick shit. Tybo, Jackson Bay, Channing. And I'm moonwalking like Michael. Drop the top, but she on my top. And I lean back with my eyes closed like, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't put your body up on my body. Cause we gon' party. and R&B mixes on K100 Radio. K100, you bastards. All right. Bastards. We out right now for G Lebo, but don't go nowhere. Pause. I told y'all we got more. We got two more. We got Nisa J coming up next. G Lebo, before we go, man, real quick, tell them how to get that music, homie. Hey, man, the song uh, Come By is out right now on YouTube. I mean, um, that's on um, TuneCore, all the digital stuff, iTunes, Spotify, all of that. And then the single you just heard, Up, should be out by Monday, which is October the 24th, on all the same platforms. And, um, man, shout out to, to you, bro. Blessing for uh, this interview. Appreciate it. K100, making it mag. Thank you all for everything, bro. And um, shout out to New Orleans and Naptown, where all my fam is at. That's my... My both of my home bases right there. Right, absolutely, man. All right, dog. Salute to you, bro. Shout out to you, man. Great interview. If you miss any parts of this interview, you'll be able to catch it live on our sound on our SoundCloud and also on our YouTube channel. So when you go over there and you go subscribe to that uh, uh, channel over there with G Lebo for that video, like I know you're gonna do, slide on over to Cable Hundred Radio. If you miss any parts, subscribe to our channel. You can watch the whole thing in its entirety, yeah. or you can watch it on Facebook Live. But you know we want you to subscribe to our channel too. Yes, we do. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, homie. I'll catch you next round, all right? All right, peace, bro. All right. All right. Uh, let me see. I told y'all, don't go nowhere. Don't nobody leave. Instagram Live. This feed is going to stop. It's going to start right back up. They only let us go for one hour. So this was going to shut down in a second. We'll start another one right back up for you IG Live people in one second. Well, let's see. We got Nisi J. Nisi J, this you? Hey. Hey, hey. hey. What's going on? Nisi J's in the building, and she Hello? is up next. What's up? I hear you. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All yeah. right. So Nisi J is up next. You guys just chill right here on Facebook Live, my Instagram Live, folks. I'm getting ready to uh, bring you guys back on for the next hour. All right, direct line interviews. We're going to run a couple of more ads, and we'll be right back with Nisi J. So you guys show some support to the person that's coming up next. If you came up with a rock or whoever, just hang around and check out some more music. We got more music, more videos, more stuff to talk about. You dig? K100 Radio. You yeah. are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. K100, you bastards. You bastards. You bastards. You bastards. Real rap promo. promo. Artists, are you struggling with getting people to listen to your music? Real Rap Promo is here to help you. Log on to www.realrappromo.com today to see how they can help you with all your promo and marketing needs. Real Rap Promo. Real Rap Promo. Use the promotional code radio at checkout to get 20% off on all services. Last of the Mo Records presents Wes Craze. Wes Craze. Wes Craze. With his new chart-topping single.